What's up guys? I am back with an updated free to play character uh, guide. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I literally went over everything that you could do on a free to play account in Destiny 2, kind of the pros and cons of it. And I tried to do my best to lay everything out that I'm currently on had roughly 25-ish hours put into it, and just this afternoon I put in another three or four. Uh, it's been a few seasons. Last video was in Beyond Light, and this is now Season of the Splicer. So I think this is Season 14, Volta Glass just dropped. So just to give you an idea if you're watching this in the future, uh, but let's get into it. So first of all, when it comes to the destinations, and where I can go and what I can do, not much has changed since the last video. So like if I go to Europa, I can go around, I can farm the uh, yellow bar, like heavy enemies for the chests that will drop on the ground. And I can get guns and armor that way. But I can't, um, I can't do anything. Like I can go do a lost sector, but there's like nothing here for me to do. I can just go get like blue drops here, right? And this used to pop up all the time, but now instead of it saying Beyond Light, it says Season of the Splicer. So it's pretty much the same in regards to that. Nothing has changed. Um, you know, I could still go to all these other places with the one major change, at least for me or anybody trying to get city. So before... If you would come to the Dreaming City and then go to Petra, Petra has a daily bounty you can do and like I think maybe a story mission and the um, the Ascendant Realm you can go into. So there's like a couple drops you could do um, throughout the week that give you legendary items. And it could be armor or guns. And the guns are no longer sunset. So when I did this video before, like if I had gotten a Tiger Spite Auto Rifle or a Retold Tail Shotgun, it would have been sunset, uh, but now that's not the case, and I can show you that because I got a rocket earlier, got the sleepless, so there's no sunset mark on there, and it's not the worst rocket in the world, so, you know, it's just one more thing you can go do. Um, other than that, as far as powerfuls go and pinnacles, it's pretty much the same deal. You are limited in a way. So let's start from the top. I can do the Crucible, like normal play three games and get a drop. I can play Trials, which is still hilarious to me, but whatever. They let me play Trials. And then I could do Freelance for a powerful drop. Right now Iron Banner's going on, so I was able to do that. I um... As a free-to-play player, this is probably your best bet for getting high stat rolled armor and decent guns. Um, but there's PvP. You can do your strikes. I can't do the Battlegrounds event. Um, and I really can't do a Nightfall unless the Nightfall is a free-to-play strike. So, like, I can go do the Nightfall right now. And that's honestly like your best bet to farm these shards and prisms because you can't get these almost anywhere else. Like there's other ways you can do it. You can go and you could put the thing on your ghost shell that'll give you uh, prisms on on uh, precision kills wherever it's at. But getting shards on their own, extremely difficult. Um, so when a nightfall pops up that you can do, you should definitely try to farm that if you're high enough level. Um, you can do Gambit just like normal. No change there. I actually ran a little bit of Gambit. Yay, Gambit. And the coolest thing is you can do the Vault of Glass Raid, which is a pinnacle drop at every encounter. Well, not every encounter, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe later in the season I'll level my dude up. keeping this going for the sake of trying to give you guys information um, you got the powerful gear from Zavala, from Shax, from Banshee and from the Drifter and I've done a few of these that's why you don't see them and then you can also do the Prophecy Dungeon for the Pinnacle so things that you're missing out there's a Hawkmoon mission that's normally right here 
And there is a, I can't remember, it's like the Dead Man Tail mission. I, I legit don't know where to start. I think that's over here on the EDC too, but th you can't get the Dead Man's Tail. So that's another drop that you're missing out on. So, you know, that and then whatever's on Europa. So there's like the weekly mission you can do here. And then there's like the Empire Hunts that gives you drops. So there's a few more you're missing out on. So let's say you're probably getting half maybe like 60% of the ability to level up that a paid account would get. Uh, going into the season pass, a lot of this is the same in the sense of I can only get the stuff on the top here. I can't get the stuff underneath. And that's true for, you know, all the seasons thus far. But the caveat is, is I don't know. out of the season pass so before you'd be leveling up and then somewhere around like level 20 or something you'd have lower stat armor that was like the seasonal armor and then as you kept going up until like the 50s and 60s you would get the same looking armor but it'd be like 60 something stat rolled so it was a way for if you don't have high stat armor for you to get something instead of nothing um, now you can't do that all there is is ornaments and you can't even get that so there's a couple things in here, Cypher, Exotic, you, know, you can get a gun, you get this at level 35, which is cool, I suppose, sidearm, stasis gun, and then after that it really drops off, it's literally just bright dust and bright engrams, it's just like nothing, so you're not really getting anything past level 65, whereas if you had it, you would be able to get both of those, so just something to consider. Um, one thing that has changed as far as earning some exotics and darkness, just kind of getting a little bit of materials is shacks. So if you go through this and you level up, you can get an incentive shard. You can do that once per season, I want to say. Um, and then every time you do a Valerie every time. So if all you do is play PvP and you're playing your free-to-play account like crazy, then you can absolutely do that. So between the nightfall, like waiting on it and this, it's doable, it's just not optimal at all. Like if you had three characters all free to play, pretty much just say goodbye to Masterwork and your armor more than like a set. Uh, and then the last thing I wanted to touch on was maybe just kind of like some of the guns I've earned. So duality I got in Beyond Light, which I'm, um, you know, I mean, this is probably the best shotgun you can get, minus Felwinters. Uh, but I was able to pick up a Gambit hand cannon, uh, some iron banner guns, and then just like basic world drop, like loot pool things. I would say that the steady hand from iron banner is probably your best bang for buck PvP hand cannon that you can get your hands on, or the Dire Promise. And then a various assortment of like random whatever guns nothing really good for pvp i've got an assortment of stuff for pve so like mulligan and vorpal if i ever needed boss damage for whatever reason but again it's not anything crazy like i'm not running around with anarchy and <laughs> uh, but the armor that i've been getting from like iron banner bounties and stuff you know it's not bad i mean 62 decent 61, 60, and then you might be looking at that like that's trash, but I mean, I'm, I'm rocking like 52 <laughs> in total. So, just something to think about. I finally got the Dragon Shadow. This is my preferred Hunter Exotic. So, I will be kind of trying to make a build using this. And I just got this from turning in an Exotic Cypher. It was literally just process of elimination because there's all these guns that are on here that I don't have, but... If I can't get it because I don't have the DLC, then it just finally gave me some armor that I can use. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, you know, you guys really went crazy on the last video. There was like 35,000 views or something like that. I did not expect that many views. So I appreciate all of the kind comments in there. There was a lot of people that were upset that there's a lot of limitations on a free-to-play account, which I can understand, but... I don't know, I'm torn on that topic where it's like Bungie has to make money, but they also want it to be free to play. I don't know, whatever. I'm not trying to pick a side there. But I hope the video was helpful. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. I, 
uh, hopefully I see you guys in the next one. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys down below. Peace.